I don't know guys, I don't think I've ever been more impressed by a, a bus in my entire life. Alright guys, I'm over here at Premium Coach Group. And right now, I'm doing an inspection. I don't know if you guys know this about me. I like inspections because they're a lot easier on me and they're a lot more fun. And normally I don't do inspections because I don't get any uh, any views on those videos, but this is a pretty unique, exciting, and interesting uh, bus conversion they have over here. And uh, right now I have it to myself. Uh, I don't do RV reviews for the most part because you, my, my, my main customers wouldn't like what I have to say for the most part <laughs> about RVs. But uh, Andrew's on the other side of the country right now, and I'm here all alone, and this has to be shared with people because this is awesome. Now, I'm in a showroom full of beautiful coaches. I understand that. Like, I got a Mountaineer, an American Eagle, a Newell, a Marathon, even this beautiful Liberty coach. What I want to show you guys is this guy right here. This is the most beautiful coach I've seen ever. Well, I mean, not ever, but obviously what it is is a thing of beauty. And what I'm excited about, because I'm a mechanic and a technician, is how well it's been cared for. I'm not trying to shame anybody out there with their bus, their RV, that you take care of it however you want. But there's a 97 American carriage on the Eagle bus, and, and I cannot believe the kind of shape that it's in. Let's take a look at this thing. So now this is on an Eagle bus. I've never even seen an Eagle bus before, and I've never heard of an American carriage before. My understanding is they uh, went out of business. Well, they didn't uh, go out of business. They closed down in 2007 as the owner converter kind of got tired of building these because he was just so particular. The first thing I noticed about this is this is a 97, and there's not a flaw in this paint at all other than one tiny little dent that you'll probably ever, ever see. And then all this metal down here, this is not stainless steel. This is aluminum. I don't know if you can see that right there. This is extruded aluminum, all riveted together in panels. If you take a look at this, there's no scratches, there's no dents, there's no dings. It's like it came off the showroom floor. And this is a 97. Now this thing just came in to Premium Coach. I don't know anything about uh, pricing on it or availability on it. I just was really excited because I got to do the inspection on it and how do I put this nicely? I didn't have much to write down. There, <laughs> everything actually works. Everything's in beautiful shape. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is not gonna be the inside. We will get to that, but I'm a mechanic. And this is what's really impressing me, is we're gonna take a look at the roof first. Now, as part of my inspection is I have to take a look at the roof. And I've never seen a roof without peeling paint on it. That's not dirty. That doesn't have some issues or some dents. This one was so nice that I couldn't I could not bring myself to walk on this roof. It's just in too good of shape. <laughs> it still has the original satellite dish on it. That still works. Uh, right over there, it's actually the exhaust for the generator. Two power vents, and I don't know if these are original factory uh, or original solar panels, but I think they are, and that system still works because the system uh, in, the, in the galley is the original one. But this is one thing that impresses me is how pristine and beautiful this roof is. You don't, you don't see that very often. All right, now I'm gonna show you the next thing that I'm impressed by. All right, so again, this is a all aluminum on steel doors. And uh, if we go into here, we'll go into this car, compartment right here. This is a very rare sight. I want you guys to brace yourselves. I don't know if you can see, this is exposed to the outside. But look at the inside of this door. It's actually clean. There's no 
build up a schmuck garbage debris. Somebody's really keeping this thing in great shape. And this is what I would expect to see from somebody spending a million, two million, three million dollars on a bus. Go back to the engine bay. So back here we have a Detroit diesel. It's a two cycle Detroit diesel. I don't know if you can see how, I, I, I'm gonna call it pristine. This thing is two years older than my son. And all this insulation, the lacing wire still in great shape, all the the cover on that muffler, it looks brand new almost. And this is even trickier, because check this out. If you wanted to get to, uh, to those, it's gonna be hard to get to the uh, alternator, unless you don't build these side panels. Look at that service access. This is fantastic service access. It's almost like it was built to be serviced and worked on. That's insane to me. That's so beautiful. All right, so we already looked in that com compartment. Now this one's completely exposed. So you can actually see the ground through there, right at the engine. And look at that door. Look at that door. So beautiful. And this aluminum hangs over. If it was ever going to get dented, it would be dented right there. If it was going to be bent, it would have been bent. And it hasn't been bent. Just such a thing of beauty. And there's something else you won't see on many buses, if any buses, is you have hydraulic leveling jacks. You don't have to deal with airbags. As far as leveling, you're securely anchored to the ground. One thing I wasn't aware of and they had to tell me about on this bus it seems a bit strange. The tag axle is actually the front axle. So the dri these are the drive wheels and that's just the tag axle right there. On a normal or a modern or a standard bus, like this Liberty right here on the Prevo chassis, that's the drive axle and that's the tag axle. That just supports weight and that's what actually moves the vehicle down the road. Whereas this one would be, that one's moving the vehicle down the road and that's the, just supporting the weight. And this is on a uh, I don't remember what it's called, like a torquey lift. It just uses torsion uh, instead of airbags. And it still has a lot of life on it. They just had a, a diesel mechanic look at it who actually specializes in these. And there's a lot of life left on the, the suspension. So again, you don't have to worry about the, the coach settling and leaning, which is one of the bigger problems with airbags. Check this trick out. Because it doesn't have airbags, you have ground clearance. You can actually put a step on this thing. So you don't have to worry about bringing your own step with you. That's really neat. So this, uh, this love fest I have for this bus continues on to the other side, obviously. And the owner had this scoop made help direct air right into the side discharger radiator and this is a 97 again so it has so many modern features that you wouldn't expect to find this has aqua hot heating three basement acs look at that look at this that's how you fill up right there that's massive you don't have to worry about anything and look at this door again it lines up <laughs> Um, this generator, I don't know, you guys are ready for the, the condition of this generator. It looks like it's brand new. Look at the insulation in this compartment. It's like it just came off out the factory. I don't normally see generator compartments this clean. Even straight from factories, they seem to have a lot of, uh, Schmag on them already, but look at this. You could probably eat off of that and be fine. So you guys may not be excited by it at all, but I don't know if you can see all these little lights. All those lights work. That, that this is a 97. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times these little, these little guys seem to be uh, burnt out. 
but it's well labeled. You can figure out everything that's going on. Right behind this panel right here are the batteries. And of course you have the inverter right there. I don't know if you can see that piano hinge right there. This thing completely opens up for service access. These are the things that I really appreciate. Here's just your uh, water compartment. All right, so as a 97, look at that manifold. It's still working, no signs of leakage right down there. Of course, that's just your central vacuum cleaner and all your valves, your uh, fresh water tanks right there. This is just, again, more fountain space. Little cubby hole for your fresh water tank behind it. Because right there, I don't know if you can see this little tube. You can check your fresh water tank level right there too. So that's where the level of the water is. And that's how big the tank is. That's pretty good. Of course, underneath right here is going to be where your sewer hose hooks up. And you have a little hose hook up right down there. Yeah, look how nice this is underneath. I mean, even the undercarriage is clean. That's a pass-through storage bay right there, all the way to the other side. And there's some cool features in here that I'm going to show you towards the end. Besides the built-in storage right up there, you might notice some vents over there and a little thermostat. And we'll try to get back to that one because that's my favorite part. But even down here, these are the original chairs that came with it. You can't have a bus conversion without these uh, chairs. These zippy chairs, they still have the original monograms on it. sidewall this is metal so you don't have to worry about checking on that whatsoever we're not sure about the conversion if they had to lift it or not but based on the front cap I don't think they did because it's got the original bus windows up front there second set of wind windows right there you can see them better right there so if they would have had to lift it they would have to change all the parameters of the windshield and the front caps and this all looks original but even these mirrors normally these mirrors get beat up and this is this is actually aluminum this isn't uh, chrome covered plastic this is aluminum you won't find that on modern stuff all right I've showed you some of the fun things that I've noticed on the outside we'll finally go inside and take a look around guys I know but be warned, no, don't be warned, but be aware, this is a 97, it's still original. So it still has the original TV, refrigerators, um, fabrics. And the thing is, yes, they're aged, but not only are they fun to look at and remember life, but they're in great shape too. Let's take a look. I still like that stair. All right, so this is mid-entry. Uh, even the diesel mechanic that looked at this said he's never seen mid-entry on an American bus before. This has no slides, but I don't think you miss the slides at all. I don't know if you can appreciate this. See all those backlights? They still work. All these buttons work. Every single one of them. Here's the big reveal on the inside. So behind right there is the TV. And your entertainment center right there. But this is like suede. I don't even want to touch it. it because it's so, it's in such good shape. No signs of leakage. No delamination. Nothing falling off. It's got a unique floor plan. So you have the two couches. Uh, that one's kind of like an entertainment couch because the center will fold down. And then of course that turns into a bed too. Now, I'm going to unofficially call this a bunkhouse, even though there won't be any bunk beds on it. That's just going to be a special surprise I'm going to save towards the end, because that's my favorite feature. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the door. So you got that private, private feeling in here. You don't have to walk past 
the driver and passenger area to come in and out. So you have straight into living space. As again, this is solid surface material. And this is before inlaying that was even something that most people did. And yeah, I'll get you. It gives that 90s vibe a little bit, the late 90s vibe. But it's <laughs> that's probably the easiest thing to fix if you wanted to update it. But I don't even know if I would update it because it, it just works so well. It still has a, con a convection of a microwave, the original one. So you can easily change that one out to a stainless steel one. You can go get a, a stainless steel dishwasher. And trash compactors in RVs. I don't know if you guys live in RVs, but it's actually nice to have a trash compactor in a <laughs> the refrigerator is an RV refrigerator, so it does have propane and electric. Uh, that's the strange, I, I wouldn't say the strangest thing, it's not very common. You don't normally see gas stoves. So you got your gas stove top right there, and then a propane uh, electric refrigerator. And again, this is still the original one. And it's still working fantastic. It's nice and cold in there. I don't know if you can see the, the ice. It's got ice maker. It's got everything. I just, I'm just baffled by the condition of how great everything is in here. Let's get your eat-in kitchen, two sofas, entertainment center right there, and I did say it had three basement ACs. So you have one right there, one thermostat right there for the dash area, one thermostat right behind this plant. This is going to control the uh, the main living area. So if I, I know there's a lot of people that don't like basement ACs. Uh, I don't know if you get there's a great service access on this so I already like it because it has great service access. But there, there's really some important things about basement ACs. One, there's no roof penetrations so you don't have any worry about uh, water coming in through the roof. Uh, so it, ro it also lowers that your, your roof height. Uh, there's you don't have water leaking on the roof from the condensation where you that you have to redirect through the, the the ceiling down to the ground so it just goes straight on the ground and the most important thing is that they're quiet uh, you don't have to have a, a complicated bath roof baffling system so that the uh, the roof acs aren't too noisy so there's a lot to like with this with three thermostats you can actually because uh, the front ends of motorhomes generally get a lot hotter because of the, the glass windshield whereas the bedrooms usually are cold even in a in, in normal weather so sometimes a bedroom you still have to keep a little bit warmer than the uh sometimes you have to run the heat uh when the front's actually kind of hot so some thermostats won't allow you to heat one zone and cool the other one you don't have to worry about that with uh three different thermostats all right so i got that in cool mode go down with it now when i was doing the inspection i was testing the acs out and I couldn't get them to turn on. I thought maybe I was doing something wrong or something was broken. But the thing is, they were running. I just didn't know it because they were so quiet. Now while we wait for the AC to turn on, I'm going to go ahead and walk up there. But obviously I don't want to walk on the carpet. Now I'm going to put my booties on. But I don't know if you can see right here. There's little snaps on the floor. And there's these little uh, covers. These are actually runners that would snap down for servicing or for storing and all these are the original ones and they all exist so even in the bathroom right there you can see that they would go right right there so rather than putting those down though i'm going to put my booties on so we'll do a quick walk through right up here now this is again all original uh materials and this this leather is in fantastic shape can't explain to you how rare that is it seems like even the steering wheel is not beat up your leveling systems right down there it still has uh the uh, the howard uh, uh trim for the steering control and just nice instrument cluster the backup camera still works and it does still have a cd player but i always recommend changing those out to bluetooth anyways and behind right there this is of course your amp and your cd changer i mean this is the 90s you have to have a cd changer right you have all your light switches right there. Control from here. Start the generator. If you forgot to uh, bring the step in, you can actually still retract the step right here, even though it's automatic. Now this does have hydronic heating. Look at this. 
This is the original Dash Radio remote, and it's still there, and it still works. And this is just, this should be in a museum. Just, just the engineering behind that. My favorite feature, of course, besides pink shades, is going to be that they're manual. Because I'm not a huge fan of uh, power most things, or smart things. Now, this window doesn't open. It's been sealed shut. The front two have been sealed shut so they don't open. I don't know if you guys can hear it. The AC did turn on. So I have one coming out right through there. And the other one coming right above the refrigerator right there. And that's it. I, I hear the refrigerator fan more than I hear the AC. I didn't see the blender. I, I'll grant you that. This has the built-in blender. But here we go back to the 90s. Easy upgrade to a nice... Uh, take this door off. Put, put a built-in... Put a wall right there. You can actually still do a, a storage cabinet behind there. And you have a nice flat screen TV. It would just be beautiful. The speakers are hidden right behind there. And they sounded great. You actually do have a lot of storage space over here. They did at one point upgrade to a DVD player. But look at that. Original VCR still mounted in there. Again, the sink covers. Go into your uh, custom molded sinks. Right into the countertop. So this is pretty state of the art for 97 because we're still doing it today. We'll go past kind of the boring stuff. And we'll show you probably the oddest monitor panel I've ever seen in an RV. So there's the solar system. There's your inverter controller. There's your generator gauges. And of course, uh, your hydronic heat, so you can turn on your Webasto, or actually there's an aqua hot, so it has, I'm sorry, with the aqua hot diesel burner, you have a tankless water heater, and you also have hydronic heating. Hydronic heating. That system works, too, off the same thermostat. You have the heat that comes out of the floor right there. You can kind of see the uh, heat exchangers behind there. And that thing's just beautiful. That fired up without a problem, without any issues whatsoever. Uh, you can turn the air compressor, the auxiliary air compressor, on and off right here. But right here, this strange guy is actually the monitor panel. This one's going to be hard for me to show you with one hand, but it uses a uh, air pressure, and you have to pump it up itself right there. So if you want to check your diesel tank, you'd push that button right there and pump it up. And if it's full, it'll be at 30 inches. Uh, if you want to check your black or your gray tank, you it's hard to do. Yeah, pump it up, and yeah, push the gray button. Whatever it goes up to is like I from what I gather, how full it is. I mean, it's interesting, I'll grant you. Uh, you could probably upgrade that to something a little bit more useful, but the fresh water tank, you can actually see from the outside, has its own uh, level sensor on it. Your pocket doors are still very, very solid back here. And of course, right there, you do have your uh, central vacuum cleaner. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it actually works still. Which brings me to, this is how well it's been maintained. The central vacuum cleaner attachments are put away exactly where they're supposed to go, and they still are the original ones. Got the AC going right here. Got that cold air coming out. Just so nice. Now this has a, uh, how do I put it? A, a mid-coach uh, bathroom. So, you do have to walk through the bathroom to get to the uh, to the bedroom, but it does have a private bathroom, toilet, so you don't have to walk to the toilet area to get to the, the bedroom, which is a nice feature too, because I think this is a really well thought out floor plan for no slides, and sometimes I, you, know, you might be surprised to know that I'm not a big fan of slides. Unless they're adding to a lot of, to, a, to a fantastic floor plan or creating a lot of livable space, sometimes uh, no slides is a good option too. So let's go ahead and turn our fan on right there. This does actually have an exhaust fan right above right here. You crank it up, it still works. 
This has, of course, that the same toilet. You yeah, haven't made a video on before. This one's not leaking like that one. And it's working fantastic. So it's got its own pocket door to there. There's its own pocket door to the uh, bat bedroom itself. And this shower, I can go ahead and get in the shower. And it doesn't have brass around. <laughs> so it's a little bit better. Uh, turquoise might be a little hard sell on some people, but I think it matches the carpet pretty well. I don't know if you guys can see it even uh, the carpet, the trim right here follows the uh, the curve of the shower. But let's go ahead and get in the shower. <laughs> There's so much room in here. Now I'm six foot tall, so it's perfect for me. Probably perfect for somebody six five. I didn't have to duck to hit my head on this. Sometimes you still hit your head on this thing coming in and out. Not on, not on this one. It's got very high ceilings here. So again, let's see. Call that about a foot right there. It's pretty crazy. Now again, I'm not much of a salesman. I'm more excited by features like all these lights and all these switches are actually working. So in the back there, you have that smoke glass and then there's a glass accent. If I turn off the bedroom lights, you probably see it better. Turn off the sconce lights. So if I turn that one on and off, you can kind of see that light up and off. There's a little night light back there. But all these things are working. And this is the other things that impressed me. Look at this. It's all working. These are just all your 12 volt uh, circuit breakers. You can turn off individual circuits right there. And of course your 110 circuit breakers are right there. It's labeled so well. Everything makes so much sense. Let me turn that off. Ooh, nice. All right. And of course, you still have your uh, bedroom TV. And these were uh, really nice TVs at the time. So there's the bedroom. Still a great viewing angle for the bed. I like this because it kind of feels like you're on an airplane. That nice overhead storage right there. Very, very solid in here. And with one hand, because I only have one hand free, I can lift that up. And there is... This is a huge amount of storage just under the bed right here. That's insane to me. I don't know if you can see this the ceiling. It's been nice brushed. This is how the owner keeps it. And no signs of leakage. You guys saw that roof. That was just a beautiful roof. I didn't point out there is, of course, another vent in there. I didn't turn the lights on or the shower in there. All right, so obviously you have your sculpted carpet in here. It has a snap down cover right there. This is actually granite flooring, granite tile. Okay, so I'm back in the stairwell. I'm coming back up again. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it yet. That right there is not a handle to this cabinet. That's just a wraparound wall, part of the countertop, or part of that, uh, that cabinet. And you have drawers right there. So what does that handle go to? The best thing ever. So this thing, whole thing lifts up. That's how well concealed that is, right in the grout lines. And you can go down into the basement. And it's got a built-in ladder. So here I am. I'm going to go down into the basement now. So here we are in the basement. Now this becomes the bunkhouse where, you know, if you were like me as a kid, you'd want to hang out. So there's the, the ladder that goes up to the, to the floor so you can go up to the next level has his own thermostat with his own vent for heating for, so you can stay nice and warm down in here and uh, you have a shoe cubby if you need a shoe cubby <laughs> you can see that storage area right there more storage back there again this is just found space that could have just been behind a bulkhead nobody would ever know all right let's go ahead and take these off
right, so you have another way out of that motorhome or that bus if you need to. So there you have it. I'm calling it a bunkhouse. We'll go back inside real fast. All right, now I can close that. And now maybe you can probably see it, maybe in the grout line. It's so well concealed that nobody would ever even know that was there. All right, guys, so there you have it. Just a quick little tour of this uh, 97 American carriage uh, bus conversion. I'm definitely not the best showman or salesman for this. Uh, I don't know, know the price. I don't know anything about it other than what, what I've discovered about it. I don't even know what if it's for sale. I'm excited by it. It has almost everything I would want in a bus. <laughs> uh, it Even... Uh, parks that have their their limitations on the age of rvs that they let let in a let in a park i they're not going to have a problem with you driving this thing in here because this does not look like a 97 this looks like a 2017 to me it's a very very beautiful coach uh and i got to take a look at it before anybody else so i'm i, I was just excited to do an inspe inspection on this thanks a lot for watching guys uh I don't even know if this is on the, their website yet, but I would get in contact with uh, with Chad. And if you want to take a look at it, I'd take a look at it. I, I can't imagine this thing lasting very long. Now I'm going to have to get back to work. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, watching this with me, being excited as I am to see something so well maintained. I mean, I think about supercars, uh, modern supercars. The engine compartment has a, a window into it so you can see it. And everybody that owns one of those keeps everything pristine and, and perfect. It keeps it in a showroom. The owner keeps this thing in a showroom. Uh, it's carpeted. Uh, jacks come down. Keeps weight off the tires. Uh, keeps this thing very well maintained. Takes care of it. Uh, and you can tell it. You Just looking at it, you can tell how well he maintained it. And how proud he is of it. And I'm, I, I can appreciate that because... This is not again. The idea wasn't to shame anybody, just that I really appreciate people that take care of their stuff. About the only blemish on this entire bus is on the back cap. See a little bit of uh, paint right there, and a little bit of chipping right there. But that's not too bad when you consider how this is and of course that pop-out camera that still works there it is American carriage well I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, tour I really enjoyed looking at it and uh, wow that's just beautiful thanks a lot for watching guys It's just a little cubby hole at the front. And there it is all the way to the back. Really nice. And down there is going to be your... Here's... Oh, I shouldn't have showed the safe, should I? They even hid the uh, satellite crank handle right there. And of course the obligatory master switch.